What's going on, everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. Real quick, I just want to talk about, I'm very, very happy. I'm very, very happy to see continental Africans starting to get mad. I am. I'm very happy to see continental Africans starting to get pissed about the blatant, obvious disrespect that some of these non-Africans come to Africa and do to Africans. From the Chinese people that come on vacation to do poverty porn for their people and make African kids say things in Chinese that they don't understand, disrespecting them. From white people coming to Africa thinking they could just own the place still and doing dumb shit and disrespecting Africans. I'm, I'm so happy that Africans are starting to get mad. And the only thing they needed to get mad was to be aware of it. That's it. The only difference between African Americans and the Africans is that African Americans have been aware of, aware of it from the very beginning. Continental Africans have not been aware of it. They've been blissfully ignorant of the situation. Walking around being extra nice to all these foreigners, right? Welcoming them, welcoming them in. Now they're starting to realize that it's not reciprocated. That only goes one way. That not only do they want and need African resources, not only do they still worship and watch and stay entertained by everything and all things African, but they still got the gall, the balls, the nerve to disrespect us at the same time because they're jealous. We know that's what it is. So when you're jealous of something, you do everything you can to try to pull it down. But I'm very happy to see Africans getting mad. I'm very excited to see Africans pissed off because when you start pissing off an African, when you start pissing off an African, and when all that niceness goes away, then that African warrior comes out. That warrior. You see, African Americans are highly aggressive because we understand the disrespect. Because the disrespect has been in our face this entire time. Right? The disrespect has not been in your face the entire time for the continental Africans. The disrespect has been hidden, covered up. Right? Spoken in languages ununderstood. Right? Not understood. I don't think ununderstood is a word. But I'm just happy to see these Africans, all these new YouTubers popping out, watching the same things that us African-Americans been watching, learning the same thing us African-Americans have been learning, right? And starting to get pissed off the same way us African-Americans get pissed off. See, now you continental Africans can understand why we so pissed off. Now you continental Africans can understand why us Amer African-Americans are so aggressive. Always pissed off and screaming to the mountaintops. Now y'all not just saying we just complaining about things. Now you understand. Now you on board. And I'm happy to see it. And one more thing. I got one more thing to say. I got one more thing to say. You see, see here in the near future, all those racial groups that used to disrespect us Africans, all of those nations that used to disrespect Africans, they're not going to have any choice to put respect on our name. Because they're going to have to come crawling for the resources of Africa. They're going to have to come crawling for the work labor of Africa. They're going to have to come crawling for the intellectual properties of Africa. They're going to have to come crawling. The tides is turning. The tables are turning. Africa is rising. And when we get to where we need to go, guess what? All of you are going to have to prostrate to us Africans. All of you. It's coming. That's all I got to say. It's Afro Think Tank. Learn some, teach some. I'm out.